So the next part is the notation for the voltage cell. Okay, the notation for the voltage cell represent the components that are in the voltage cell. Okay, what are the components at the anode and what are the components at the cathode compartment? Okay, and the components of these two compartments are separated by this double slash. Okay, and uh, the left side is the anode or the oxy oxidation half cell, the right side cathode compartment or reduction half cell. Okay, and we will use a single dash or single vertical line to separate between different phase. Okay, and it is always phase of the lower oxidation state to the higher oxidation state for the anode compartment. As for the cathode compartment, we start writing the notation with the species that have a higher oxidation state to the species that have a lower oxidation state. Okay, so this double vertical line represents the phase boundary between the two half cells. Okay, let's look at two examples. We have a reaction between zinc and copper 2 plus just now. So what is happened at the end node is zinc solid turns to zinc 2 plus. We have this single line to show that they are different phase, solid and aqueous. And then we have this double line to separate between the end node and cathode compartment and let's look at to the cathode compartment what happened at the cathode is the Cu2 plus aqueous undergo reduction turns to Cu solid okay the same as this single line this single line is actually represent the phase that is separated different phase between Cu2 plus and Cu solid this is the half equation okay, for the reaction between zinc and Copper 2 plus, and this is the second notation for the previous diagram when they are using graphite as an electrode. So let's look at the notation. We have graphite single line, and then iodide aqueous tends to iodine solid. Okay, graphite, iodide, and iodine they are all separated by a single line to show that they are different phase. And then we have a double line here. To separate between anode and cathode and what we have in the cathode is H plus aqueous MN4 MNO4 minus aqueous it turns to MN2 plus aqueous so between the same phase okay they are separated by comma and then we have a single dash or single line we have graphite okay so this is how we write the notation for a voltage so, so this is a voltage cell that is using inactive electrode as what we have seen just now. Okay, let's look at what happened at the anode. Is the oxidation of the iodide turns to iodine and two electrons come out. As for the cathode, is a reduction when MnO4 minus here in the solution in the acidic medium. So we have H plus receive five electron and it turns to Mn2 plus ion okay, graphite is used then we observe the accumulation of the iodine solid at the electrode of anode so the overall equation is 2 mno 4 minus plus 16 h plus plus 10 iodide produce 2 mn2 plus 5 i2 and 8 h2o this is the standard hydrogen electrode or what we call as she. So in this she, the hydrogen gas is bubbled through a platinum electrode. This is a platinum electrode at the pressure of 1 atm. In 1 molar of the HCl, the electrode, the electrolyte here we have HCl and the temperature must be at 25 degrees C. Okay, and the gas assigned 0 as a standard electrode potential. So this she become the standard electrode potential or standard hydrogen electrode because the E cell or the electrode potential is always zero. Okay, hydrogen gas 1 atm, platinum electrode and temperature 25 degrees C. 
concentration of HCl1 molar. Okay, so these are the voltage of some voltaic cell. We have a flashlight battery 1.5 volt, car battery 2 volt, calculator battery 1.3 volt, and so on. So what is the purpose of she or standard hydrogen electrode is to determine the electrode potential of other electrode. Okay, one side will be standard hydrogen electrode while another side is the electrode that the potential being defined. The voltmeter is used to measure the difference of both potential and all the electrode potential are measured in relation are termed as the standard potential or E0 cell. So this is the example when we have a zinc half cell that is connected to the Xi. Okay, we have zinc as the N0 and cathode is our Xi. So the, the E0 cell of the Xi is zero. Okay, and if, let's say we don't know what is the E0 of the zinc. And then they are connected okay, through external wire and also salt bridge with the electrolytes. And then the voltmeter measured the potential difference of this voltage cell is 0 0.76 volt. We can calculate what is the standard reduction potential of the N0. We can calculate what is the E0 half cell of the zinc. At the end knot, the reaction that is occurred is oxidation. When we have a zinc solid, it tends to zinc 2 plus. Okay, and then the electron is moving and goes to the cathode. And the reduction occurs at the cathode when the H3O plus receives the electron and it turns to H2 gas plus H2O. So the overall equation of this reaction is zinc plus 2H2O plus produce zinc 2 plus plus H2 and H2. These are the selected standard electrode potential. In or to be specific, this is the standard reduction potential of the electrodes. Okay, we have a positive to negative. So the more positive the standard reduction potential value means that the easier for the species to undergo reduction or the more readily for the species to undergo reduction and the more negative, the more readily the species to undergo oxidation. Or it is harder, the more negative the E0 value means that it is harder for the species to undergo reduction. So when it is hard to undergo reduction, so it, it is easier to undergo oxidation. So we can see here, going up is the strength, is when the strength of the oxidizing agent increases because it is easier for them to undergo reduction, means that they are a stronger oxidizing agent. And the strength of the reducing agent increases going down this table. Okay, as for lithium, if we have if you compare the species in this table, lithium is the strongest reducing agent. Okay, as the reaction, the reduction reaction of the Li plus is harder to form Li solid. So it is easier for the reverse reaction to occur Li solid tends to Li. Plus.